woman in our church once who said she wanted to escape to a desert island. She thought if she could remove herself from all of the sin and temptation in the world, she could finally pursue holiness and peace with God. Maybe you take the same approach to sin. You think if you could just shut off the commercials on television, you'd stop struggling with greed. Or if people would start dressing more modestly, you would stop struggling with lust. Or maybe if your dad hadn't left you when you were a kid, you'd stop struggling with anger. The problem with this approach to sin is that the Bible takes a completely different tack. Jesus says it's not what goes into our body that defiles us, but what comes out. He's reframing how we look at disobedience to God. See, sin is not just out there. It's not just something that we do. It's in here. It's something that we are. Maybe you've heard of the seven deadly sins. Lust, pride, greed, gluttony envy, sloth, and wrath. These are seven categories of sin, seven ways that we disobey God. But they don't just lie out there. They lie in here, in our heart. In Romans chapter 7, Paul reaches a point of desperation about the sin that's inside of himself. And he says, Wretched man that I am, who will rescue me from this body of death? See, the bad news is we carry around sin inside of us every day. But the good news is, through the gospel of Jesus Christ, we can not only identify our sins, but kill them. This is the seven daily sins.